I just wrapped up work for my long weekend. I took just a half day today on Friday, but it just feels so good to log off and like everything is squared away and I don't have to think about anything until Monday. Like, I don't know why, but it just feels like so amazing in particular today. And my dad and my mom had like a few days off this week. My dad took the whole week off because it was his 60th birthday this week. And I took a half day today because we're having a party for him and we're going out to dinner basically <laughs> is the party. But um, we were gonna do something else, but we changed the plan at the last minute, which I'm very happy about. So we can just go and enjoy and not have to do any work. <laughs> So that worked out really well for us. Um, but I just wrapped up, just closed my laptop and it was like amazing. It felt so, so good. And um, my mom and sister were just running out so they're gonna bring back lunch. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do this afternoon before we head to dinner. Um, I know I have to go to the post office and that's like the only thing I really really have to slash want to do because I'm going to be completely out of like touch tomorrow because I'm so excited about this. My best friend Alyssa, her brother is getting married next year and she invited me to come like dress shopping for all of like the girls that are going to be in the wedding party. I'm not in the wedding party but she like and some of them went last weekend I think and she wanted to like take another look and she asked me to come and I'm so excited. So we're doing that all tomorrow. So like I have to wake up just as early as my work day to get down to her by like our first appointment. So I'm so excited. I love being like involved in like weddings and things like that. Like I haven't really been even to many weddings. Like most of my friends, like my close friends haven't gotten married yet. So I don't know. I know some people like they're going to weddings all the time, but like I just haven't gotten to that phase yet I guess or my friends haven't so this is super exciting oh my god and so that's tomorrow so I'm pretty much like can't do anything tomorrow um other than that of course and then Sunday I think I have like the day open so I am just in a really great mood and <laughs> I'm just so happy to have some extra time off for my perfume combo today I did kind of like an interesting concoction. I started with the Lancome um, La Vie A A Belle Soleil and this is like a really beautiful like I don't know coconut sophisticated resort type of scent and I love this bottle. Oh my god it smells so delicious and then I don't know, I was kind of just thinking what would go with it and I tried the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which I also think is kind of that same vibe where it's like creamy, but this, the Wood Sage and Sea Salt doesn't have any coconut. And I really, really like the combination. So I would recommend, mm, I would recommend trying this. It's not super like, sweet or feminine like it is feminine but it's not really sweet or like floral it's just really creamy and I would say this is like sexy coconut summertime I don't know it's just really different from what I've recently been doing so I wanted to tell you guys about that Oh my gosh, you guys, we're just about to leave for my dad's birthday dinner, so I just finished getting ready, and Alyssa's mom dropped by with my final birthday present, and it's a lavender bucket hat, and it says, it's brutal out here, which is my favorite Olivia Rodrigo song, and I can't put it on my head because my hair is pulled up. Yeah, that looks stupid. <laughs> like that <laughs> but I'm gonna wear it with pride when I finally don't have a bun <laughs>
I got the duck with cornbread and peaches. I'm, I'm so excited say, about that. Cornbread. Yeah. I got the salmon, or not the swordfish, swordfish with black swordfish rice, with black rice, so cool. asparagus, or um, artichoke. Yum. What'd you get? Salmon, risotto. Remember those turnips? Are really okay, yeah. and then is that like avocado? Pesto, oh, lots of people oh got the salmon, and then dad got the short ribs. Say hello for your 60th birthday. <laughs> nice, thank you. Do you want us to sing to you? <laughs> Happy birthday, dad. Thanks for coming. That looks pretty. I know it does. <laughs> We're having a little pampering night using the Patchology Best Foot Forward Foot Masks. I like to massage it in. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that it's like, I don't want to touch your feet and tickle you, but like the outside is like this kind of plasticky material, so it's not like goopy. All of the good stuff is on the inside. Yeah, and I also like their, like the tops were together and you rip them mm -hmm. apart, so it's completely sealed, so it wasn't like wet yeah. when I opened it. And then you just like stick, have the sticker. It's such a smart design. Like it, the stickers yeah. attach and then you just like close it up and then it like traps in all the goodness and you guys can get the best foot forward foot mask in my Meg's must haves bundle which is available only for a limited time and the coupon code which will save you $15 only runs through the end of July. So make sure you pick one or two of these kits up because you get the Best Foot Forward foot mask, which is my mom's favorite. She's wearing it too. And these are just awesome. And I can't wait to use it because my feet have been so dry. Um, you get a four pack of the Serve Chilled Rosé sheet masks, which if I didn't have makeup on right now, I would put on one of these because it's just so hydrating and smells like strawberries it's so nice and then the breakout box which I think this is like the awesomest thing ever because you get 48 pimple patches so this will last you a really long time and you can get all of this for $45 with my code Meg's Makeup 8 at patchology.com and you get free shipping and if you spend $75 you get a free gift of your own choice as well at checkout so it's just really awesome and I appreciate you guys' support so far and just thank you so much if you purchase it because these are truly my favorite Patchology products and my whole family loves the Best Foot Forward foot mask so I can't wait for you guys to try them. Morning you guys. Oh my gosh. It is 7.40 a.m. You can hear my morning voice. <laughs> um, I am just running to get Duncan because that's my Saturday thing. So I decided to wake up a little earlier so I can do that. Um, and then I'm gonna get ready and then go to, or leave hopefully by, I'd say 8.30 I'm hoping to leave by um, to get to Alyssa's by like 9.15ish. So, it's a very early Saturday. I always look into no alarm Saturday mornings, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And it's totally fine because I'm really looking forward to today and um, just seeing her in general, but then being part of like helping to decide on her maid of honor dress which I think is just so exciting um but yeah I yeah I feel like just talking about it helped me feel more awake so I got my typical iced coffee and breakfast sandwich then I'm gonna just have a chill type of morning and I'm like the type of person I would much rather wake up a little bit earlier so I'm not like rushed because like I can already feel like I'm gonna be late I'm gonna be late but like I'm most likely not gonna be late because I built in plenty of time but I'm just an anxious person. That's like my only mode. So <laughs> anyhow, just wanted to say hey and I'll talk to you guys later. I did not expect a long ass line at Duncan before 8 a.m. 
So good thing I left early because this is gonna eat into my schedule. Like our um, Dunkin' still aren't open inside. It's just drive-through and this lighting I know is horrible. Um, so I can't even go inside even though I ordered ahead. Oh my God, this <laughs> view <laughs> is not attractive. Um, but anyhow, it is what it is. So yeah, at least I did my skincare and stuff and then I just I'm gonna do I mean I might do like not heavy eye makeup but just like a little more eye makeup but I'm just gonna do like concealer and stuff today because that's like my new thing that I've been testing out and I don't know I kind of want to see how it wears so yep <laughs> I'm finally ready to go I just finished my makeup and I just can't do light makeup <laughs> always go overboard but I use my Dior um, soft cashmere palette and then I topped it off with the KVD dazzle stick in flash storm which is that amazing like bluish shift on the lid I love that product so much and I just have like some hoop huggies on and some necklaces and the perfume I'm wearing today I haven't worn in a while it's the Versace Aris Porfem Eau de Toilette this is one of my favorite summer perfumes and I really wish I didn't get this giant bottle because it's like really hard to hold when I'm spraying it but I just like doused myself in this and it's gonna be really hot today we're gonna be pretty much inside the whole day but this is just like a really nice, sweet, refreshing, citrusy scent. I love it. it. Smells so good. I feel like I'm running a little bit late. It's a little later than I wanted to leave, but I haven't heard from Alyssa yet. So I feel like worried about leaving before <laughs> I know she's like awake. <laughs> But anyway, it's um, 8.43 right now and I'm just gonna go pack up my bag and just leave, I guess. And if I have to wait outside her apartment, that's fine. Just got to Alyssa's in perfect time and I wanted to tell you guys about this band that I've been really, really into, AJR. And you might have heard their songs bang and way less sad way less sad is how like i discovered them on the radio that is probably still my favorite song but their whole album okay orchestra is so good and i really want to see them in concert which they're going on tour next year so my mom is also really into them so we might try to go together but i would highly highly recommend them and yeah i've just been listening to this and three o'clock things i'm re-listening to now i really like that one ordinary-ish people is really awesome too and world's smallest violin those are probably my other favorites but yeah, just wanted to give you guys that recommendation. <laughs> I missed you. Oh. <laughs> I love you too. I'm finally wearing the bucket hat properly. And I love it. Mocha's my guest host. <laughs> Pays to come to the mall early. There's like no one here. Shopping. Yes, maid of honor. <laughs> I want to get this. Can I get this as your guest? No, you can't. <laughs> Show <me> up. <laughs> this is our first beautiful. stop. Oh. oh God, so <gasps> See, that's what Princess. Oh my God. We're in heaven. Oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so this is. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> So this is the designer Alyssa likes more Lee. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Is this Dusty Sage? That's pretty. And it's like kind of sheer. I didn't see that. Let's bookmark that. Okay. Oh nice. And you can get them in different colors. If they yeah. have them. These are just like the sample colors, but I made sure that all these come in the dusty stage. Smart. So. 
This is so exciting. I'm literally like a dance mom. I brought all the waters with cooler packs. Oh, Alyssa's in there. I literally feel like a proud parent. <laughs> and there's like no one here. Mama Megan, exactly. <laughs> what do you think? Oh yeah. <laughs> Amazing feast at Cheesecake Factory for brunch. The Monte Cristo and the caramel cinnamon apple pancakes. <laughs> oh my god, we can't wait to dig in. We're at Urban Outfitters and they have this Lady Gaga collection. Oh my god. I want every single shirt. That one's so cool. Oh, and that like is her jacket. Amazing. I have to get the unicorn one though. <laughs> now I need to get this. I did have this as my cell phone wallpaper for many years. So this is going to take my picture. <laughs> We're at the next boutique. We're picking out so many dresses for her to try. And this should say groomsmaid, but it's fine. It's so cute. Oh. I can't wait to see these. This is me and Alyssa's office. We're starting a marketing agency <laughs> and this is our office with all of our plans. <laughs> Except for we're in Ikea. <laughs> but this is our dream. Two offices side by side with our little coffee talk station. <laughs> and all of Alyssa's plans. <laughs> Oh yes, only fake plants allowed. <laughs> this is my bedroom vibe. This is what I like. This is what I like. Look at these lights. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think I like velvet or like whatever. Closet like that too. Yeah. Alyssa, look at this closet. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> And there's like a mirror. <laughs> Look at this at Shake Shack, you guys. It's all Legos. Oh my god. And they have this too. Oh my god. That is so cool. I think they glued it. Oh my god. God, it's, it's brutal, brutal out of here. here. <laughs> I just got home. It's just before 9 p.m. So I've pretty much been out for 12 hours and it was such an amazing day. So much fun and Alyssa tried on so many dresses and narrowed it down from like other ones that she's tried on. So she's gonna show her mom all the pictures that I took. I took so many pictures, my phone died today. And <laughs> it was just such a blast and so special to be part of this. And I got to see Ryan and his fiance and it was just a really, really awesome day. And I blasted the AJR album on my drive home and it reminded me of how much I've really missed driving and like driving like to and from work it was always really stressful because it was like during rush hour but like when I drove this morning like before 10 a.m. and this evening like after 8 p.m. it's just so of course there's like some traffic and some drivers that drive me nuts but it was just such a like nice way to wind down and like jamming to music has always like in my car has always been a way i've decompressed like in the past if i would be really upset i would like not if i'm like super upset and i like don't feel comfortable driving but if i just want to like process my thoughts or like just get my mind off of something i've always like drove at night with music or without music and it just really calmed me tonight and the song way less sad by ajr is like so so poignant i love the song so much and it just like hypes you up and makes you feel better and yeah so <laughs> i just had a really really awesome day today's plan is to go through my closet rachel just helped me clear off the space in front of it and my closet is jam-packed this is out of sorts and I just really want to try to do that like 80 20 80 percent full 20 percent empty thing and there's definitely stuff in here I haven't worn in a long time that I've hung on to just in case but it's just better to get rid of it and move on so she's gonna help me and so I'll show you how it turns out. 
This is the first bag of donations. Woo! Thanks, Rach. This is the keep so far. And let's it see. Like half of it yeah. Left. So we went through half of the closet and we probably got rid of a third? Maybe. 25% to a yeah, third. Yeah, 25%. Percent. So yeah, now we're gonna go through all the dresses. This is all pretty much dresses. Okay. <laughs> let's do it. So we've gone through all my clothes. These are the keeps and I got rid of another trash bag full of stuff. These are all the hangers of the stuff we donated. Now Rachel wants me to go through my bags and my shoes. Oh, like if we're gonna do it, we should do it all. Like look, that's so shameful. Like just shoved in there. All right, let's do it. So we're about to put the clothes back in, but we went through all my shoes and my purses and rearranged the top of my closet and then put like some of my more reach for shoes like sandals and sneakers in here. Oh my gosh, I love this. That looks so good. <laughs> and then um, some of my like lesser expensive handbags down there and then some of my future house stuff. Um, but I think that looks so good and then I'll just be able to be like, I want to use this purse today. So I think that's awesome. Behind my door I have so much outerwear and like blazers and stuff that I can't even open my door all the way. So we're gonna go through these and then also try to fit some of them, I would say hopefully half of them in my closet. So oh yeah, 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 sorry. Okay, so this is my progress report. So Rachel showed me her closet, and this isn't like final, I just have it in sections right now. But she sorts it by like what occasion she wears her clothes. So I put like fancier, dressier occasions, all my work clothes like is all here. So pretty much I would only wear these clothes at work. So that's really cool. And then this is all like, casual slash fun slash other um or it's like in between work and casual so I would wear it also in a casual setting so <gasps> there's actually space but I'm curious to see how it ends up with <laughs> the outerwear since some of that is pretty bulky also Rachel suggested that I do like that backwards hanger thing where you put it in like this and then when you wear it <laughs> <laughs> you take it off and then you put it back like this so then you know like what you've worn and what you haven't in the past however much time so I'm gonna try that out and see how that goes I bet a lot of my work stuff will not <laughs> flip around since I haven't been going in the office much but at least I know this is all my work stuff and this is the section I would reach for if I go into the office the grand reveal are you ready <laughs> so we have okay let's basically go through it so back here in this little section we have more fancy and then this is all work slash more um dressed up yeah stuff. more like formal and then we have cardigans and blazers that could be i call them like elevated cardigans because they're like blazers or just mm -hmm. like nicer pieces and then this is like all casual and fun and then we have more casual and then heavyweight um outerwear that's not like a coat um so we did it <laughs> now rachel wants me to go through all my drawers because i have everything like shoved in there <laughs> And it's really stressful. Oh, show them that. Wow. Oh, yeah. We can actually just do them yeah. one. Yeah, one each. One each. Because I don't have very many um, summer outerwear, obviously. These are just like light, lighter weight and like denim jackets. And I didn't show you guys this. I'm going to do a video on it. But I made like yeah, an update to my perfume collection, like organization last night. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, do you want to show the shoes in there? Oh, yeah. So that. this is a shoe organizer from Ikea I've had for a while. And so we put my like booties and Uggs, which these are really just like <laughs> clomp around shoes, I call them. Like it's fine that they're yeah. smushed. <laughs> so we smush them in there. 
then we have like nicer sandals and heels and then my beloved loafers <laughs> Rachel didn't know how much I love loafers and then the bottom here we just have my higher boots you can barely see them yeah, they're black. Black. <laughs> but um, that's a really nice space saver because it's not too big but holds a lot of shoes and then we have the rest in mm -hmm. the drawers I think we showed you guys mm -hmm. so, yeah so I just go like this and then get my shoes yeah. out and then oh yeah my purses and my tall boots we put up there mm -hmm. <sighs> so good work progress. and for some reason we're doing this on the day our air conditioning is broken so we're very warm <laughs> <laughs> but the guys here now hopefully fixing it but now let's tackle the drawers oh my god <laughs> also we love our dyson vacuum rachel's so good at it i hate vacuuming so fun. I know she's just a pro so we just finished doing all my dresser drawers this is our final drawer the jeans and leggings and look at this ombre effect love it and then you can like see them so much easier and then we have my t-shirts look at all this space we can even we even move some of my like other shirts into here so then this drawer had more space and yeah I just got the shirt yesterday and yeah so this is like the most shirts I have are like different bands and Disney shirts and whatever yeah there's like my camis and le um, like leggings that I only wear for like layering bras and everything and then this is just like I just throw my socks and underwear in and then my bottom drawer I keep stuff that I'm selling <laughs> so that one doesn't look that good but now we're gonna move on to my other dresser all right so we redid all of these drawers we were able to fit my comfy in here it is so huge so we made a whole drawer for it we redid all of these drawers I can't wait to show you how many bags of clothes we're donating. Urgh! Like, sweaters make me so annoyed with how bulky they are, but I got rid of a few and it's still like that. And then my sweatshirts. And I like cleared off this whole thing. And oh my god, look at that. Ah! Looks so good. And then this is some stuff I need to return with Amazon. My perfumes this looks a lot better and this whole box is full of stuff I need to list on Mercari so I need to get around to that but literally we've been doing this for like almost seven hours today <laughs> my head like hurts but our air conditioning was fixed so that is so so much better because we were like sweating to death um but now we're gonna do something to relax i think or we're gonna go to goodwill actually they're closing very soon so i don't know if they'll still have the bins out so we'll probably go tomorrow but oh my gosh feels so good oh let me show you my closet because i did put some stuff in here from my drawers like a few different shirts I put in here as well but like you can see it's not as jam-packed anymore even though it is still quite full I think we can spread out some of these hangers a little bit more and I can't wait to do that like turn the hangers around thing I've never tried that before and I love being able to see my handbags and these are like not all of my handbags but these are my probably my nicest ones and the ones that I don't want like smush in a drawer anymore so love it and I'm so appreciative Rachel helped me so much with this like literally we can almost fully open my door I just can't because of these but I used to have like scarves here and those aren't here anymore and this is just like one layer deep oh my gosh such an improvement my dad found my old Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen diary it is full of gems oh my god this was from when I was like 10 years old and it is just 
pure gold. I even have a picture of me from when I used to do dance and <laughs> I'm so cute with my poodle skirt but yeah it is just pretty iconic. I can't believe he unearthed this so I'm definitely saving that forever. <laughs> Here's all of our donations. We have four giant bags, three medium bags, and two small bags. Oh my gosh, we went through so much and did so much today. Now I can't wait to relax. All right, you guys, I'm just spinning around in my room because my floor is so clear. I love it so much. Um, but I have to go to bed, unfortunately, because I have work tomorrow. I feel like I need another day for this weekend because all I did was stuff. I did not relax, like, at all. Um, it was all good stuff, but I am very, very tired. I have a little bit of a headache, but, um, it was a really great weekend. Very productive today with Rachel in my room and I can't wait to reorganize my makeup. That's a project for this week or next weekend. There's something else, oh my jewelry. I really wanna go through. I have like these three drawer units over here. So I might get around to that at some point this week or next weekend. But oh my gosh, my alarm's going off. So anyway. I'm procrastinating on going to bed, even though I'm tired. I just don't want the weekend to be over. <laughs> and it's a full, full work week. I don't have like a half day on Friday. I was gonna take this coming Friday off for Rachel's birthday weekend, but we decided to take off the Monday after. So, um, can't wait for that. We have some plans for next weekend, which you guys will of course see, but I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and this weekend, and I hope you all are doing really well and staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!